the BFG, probably the one story that can be adapted into film featuring a little girl and a full grown man in a relationship that's not creepy. That's no moon. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the BFG. Uh, randomizer, who's going to be explained the plot for this one? Oh, oh it's me. Okay. It's me, I got it. Feels like I've never had it before like that. Anyway, the BFG, as you might be able to tell if you are familiar with its source material, is adapted from the original uh, comic, comic? The original book <laughs> by Roald Dahl, and it tells the story of a young girl named Sophie who is basically abducted in some convoluted way by this giant who she comes to call the big friendly giant. <laughs> Don't worry, he doesn't just kidnap her for no reason. There's, yeah, there's a reason behind it. Anyway, I, I just want to put it out there. <laughs> she basically gets involved in a world of giants and dreams and whatnot and has to help the big friendly giant who is being, I guess, kind of oppressed by uh, yeah. these other giants. Yeah, he's who sort are, of bullied by these big yeah. giants because he's like the runt of the litter. They all call him runt. He's tiny compared, like obviously he's massive to us, but compared to these other giants, he's really small and they sort of bully yeah. him. And uh, obviously they want he wants to uh, sort of get rid of these uh, giants because, you know, they're giving him a bad name and all that. And they're eating children as well. And so. they're eating children. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> the bullying sounds a lot less, you know, yeah. serious when you say, yeah, yeah they're kind of man They have giants. a for children. He's obviously a vegetarian. He likes to eat his snozcumbers, <laughs> which look absolutely gross. But, uh, you know, he's a giant. Who cares? So, yeah. That's basically it, really. Um, and then obviously... They go on a journey to see the Queen to... If you've read the book, then you probably... Yeah, well, I think it's adapted very well. Probably the trailer. But yeah, um, obviously, I don't think you've read the book, have you? Uh, I was a big fan as a kid. I saw the animated film. Did you see that? No. Um, I think this film is probably better to me than the animated film. It really does adapt very well from the book. But if you're not a fan of the book, and if you don't really know the source material, you're probably not going to like it as much, which I think is the case with Dale. Yeah, to be honest, I really did not like this movie. Like, even as a fun-filled family movie, I thought it was god-awful, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, that's fair enough. It's not for everyone, and what I'll say about it is that the film is very slow. Yeah. Um, it starts off, it's pretty good to start off with, you know, you've got, like, the scale of it, the little girl in her, like, orphanage. You've got the BFG's hand as it comes through the window, and it's huge. Um, and it's like, yeah, it's a pretty good start. And then they sort of go to giant country and things like really slow down for a while until the last act of the film, which in my opinion was really good. Um, but yeah, I admit the build up was good, middle, bit boring, but like it is well adapted. And the thing is, the book's not that long, so you've got a sort of, you know, put in a bit of filler. Pace it out a bit. Yeah, you've got to pace out a bit, which I think could have been handled a bit better. But uh, overall, I enjoyed this film. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, the, I just thought it was mainly like... I don't yeah. know. I really don't want to offend anyone who might be a big fan of the book. But to be honest, I thought it was all just pretty dumb. Like, the ending just felt rushed to me. Yeah. I liked the... I think the visuals were great. They were. Mike Mark Rylance was awesome. Uh, yeah, the voice acting and the visuals were the best part, probably. The little girl. I don't know her name. You I think it's it? Ruby Rose Hill or something like that. Um, she was good though. I don't think she's been in anything before I think this is her feature film debut if she's been in anything else uh, it's probably not a big role but she was really good in this film considering like half the time I don't know if Mark Rylance was on set in motion capture while she was filming but if he wasn't she did a really yeah. good job of acting with nobody else there even if he of... was she would have had to act to an invisible like 24 foot face yeah yeah. so a lot of so, this film is literally huh. just her it's like the Jungle Book the whole of the Jungle Book you've got one human character um, and he's sort of acting against all these uh, CGI animals, and it's the same with this film, so she did really well, but the thing is with this film, it's harder to achieve, because there's a lot less characters to interact with, so she's just got to interact with this one character for the whole time, and it was done, like, incredibly well. But, um, like, like what Dale said about the ending, uh, feeling rushed, I feel the same about it, because it is different to the book, and I think what they did is because this is obviously a kid's film and they didn't want to make it too dark or too scary for children, they kind of had to. But I feel like, yeah, the ending isn't great and it could have been done way better. And it did come off a bit too cheesy for me. Yeah, a lot of the dialogue was just like, hey, let's get this girl to repeat the same line three times over. Yeah. And then you yeah. get annoyed when it's just like, where are we going, BFG? Where are we going, BFG? Where I guess if BFG? you think about it as a child... You know, children are sort of like that, so she pulled it off pretty well. I mean, obviously she's a child herself, so yeah. 
I think that's probably the way she would be in real life. Um, but, like, she did pull this off, and it is hard for a child actor to carry an entire film, and it's been done twice this year. And even with sort of like uh, The Nice Guys, which came out earlier this year, you have a child mm. actor in it, and she did really well. So I think that child actors are becoming a lot better now and really doing a good job in films because they don't annoy me anymore as much as... <laughs> you know, I used to get really annoyed when I'd watch a film and there'd be a child actor and the child would just sort of annoy me the entire film. And with this film and the other films I've mentioned, um, I felt they'd been the best part of the film. Yeah, I can, I can agree with that. But yeah, I mean, this film, I'd say, definitely visually stunning. If anything, um, it should probably be nominated for an Academy Award for that. Because the the job they did, they made Mark Rylance look like he was actually there. There was never a point where I thought, he's definitely animated. I always thought he was in the scene because they got his face and put it onto the character so well. Um, and, um, you know, there was never anything in the film where I was like, yeah, that's definitely fake. Obviously, you know it is, but I never felt like it, and I was always gripped by the visual effects in the film. Yeah. So, if anything, um, with, with Dale's point of view, I think you didn't enjoy it, but you can still appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. And with There's me, a Spielberg movie as well, so... Yeah, with me, I feel like the film, you know, it's very heartwarming, very nice to watch. I like the relationship between the BFG and Sophie. Yeah. Um, didn't come across as creepy at any point and I feel like, you know, the heart was there, it, its heart was in the right place, it was a nice family film, um, they didn't really take any chances with it so it's, it is like definitely for kids so there isn't really anything where you can sort of, you know, there's nothing really dark about it, it's got the dark elements but, so it's very, it plays it very safe is what I'll say, yeah. but overall I thought it was decent, uh, final thoughts Dale? I think that I didn't enjoy it, but I think I could see how people would enjoy it. Like, yeah. And I definitely think that there are, you know, technically it was very well made. And from what I've heard, it's a faithful adaptation, although I can't say that for myself because I haven't read the yeah. book. But, well, you know, it's not the worst film I've seen this no, year. Or I just really not didn't Not by a like long it. shot. Yeah. <laughs> We've reviewed worse films. Definitely. We will probably review worse films as, this, as, this year. Probably. As far as kids' films go, this one can appeal to the adults as well. Um, it's not like Ice Age Collision Course, where it's just pretty colours and the kids are like... <laughs> like, with this one, kids will enjoy the visuals, but they did cater to the adults as well. And if you are a fan of the book, uh, this film's for you. I think this is more a film for the fans and the people that grew up with the BFG. Um, so, yeah, that, that's uh, that's our review of the BFG. Anything else before we finish this off? Um, I guess we should just mention, if you didn't notice already, that Tom isn't here. Oh, yeah. Today. yeah. <laughs> we well, didn't mention it at the start, but... <laughs> he is not. That's why there's only one um, camera view, and we're both over here. Easy editing. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to edit, to be fair. So Yeah, uh, I think... Uh, I don't think he'll be back for a while because I think you're going away next week. Yeah, I'm you? away next and he's week. He's away, so it'll just be me. I mean, I think we will probably review Finding Dory, won't we? We should be able to. I don't think we'll get a review of uh, Jason Bourne to you together. Uh, one Before of us might be able to review it on our own, but I think we'll get Dory to you. Um, um, yeah, so that's about it, really. Yeah. Yeah. So see you in the next re review. Goodbye. It's a space station. <laughs>